Welcome back. I wanted to do a video briefly on gauges. I get a lot of questions on the different gauges uh, that I've had on videos over the last couple of years, particularly on the Monkey as I've gone through a journey of uh, lots of different configurations. The setup that I have now though with the Takagawa TFT screen along with the A-Racer app that's pulling data off of the RC Mini 5 and the F1 I think is the best setup. Uh, it's all of the information that I could ask for and if I don't have my phone or don't want to bring it along I still get all the critical information I need off of the Takagawa, primarily that being the engine temperature uh, and tachometer, two things that don't come on the stock gauge. The stock monkey gauge left a lot to be desired. Uh, for one, the reflective uh, screen that it had was hard to see in certain lighting. It didn't have a tack and it didn't have any engine temperature monitoring. If you're not going to be doing any mods to the bike, you don't need to monitor engine temps. And honestly, you can hear when the engine needs to shift. So if you're just riding the bike around, like most people probably do with this, uh, you don't need any upgrade at all. But if you are making modifications, particularly big bore kit and other things where temperature is going to become a concern, you need to be able to monitor that somehow. Uh, before I had the A-Racer, I went with the Power Commander 5. Before that even, I put on just a really small tachometer. All you need is any cheap eBay tachometer for like $20. As long as it can do a single cylinder uh, measurement, you just have one line going to the negative terminal on the coil and then also have to have power somewhere, but uh, you just add those and then some type of mounting bracket. And I had 3D printed a whole bunch of different options as I went through uh, that journey of gauges. But it's easy to get a tachometer on there. Um, temperature, you can also get uh, COSO had a mount that went right over the handlebar bracket that looked really neat. That COSO sensor though, conflicted with the A-Racer. So as soon as I had the A-Racer, uh, the COSO started throwing really weird numbers. Um, I think it was pulling information off of the stock ECU differently. So the COSO is not compatible with the A-Racer, just so that you guys are aware. At one point I had a glow shift AFR gauge because I didn't have the AF1 yet. Um, and that was something that was short-lived because once I went with the A-Racer, it really gave me all of the information that I could be asking for. Uh, and again, then in conjunction with the TFT screen from Takagawa, uh, a lot of backup and other information like uh, what gear that you're in and other things that uh, isn't coming off of the A-Racer unit. So I've got a nice quad lock mount on both bikes for the phone when I'm wanting to pull information off of the A-Racer. But again, standalone, the Takagawa unit. And you'll also notice that I, I shifted the bracket. Stock came completely centered, but I offset it so that the uh, bottom of the tachometer gauge was centered with the curvature of the front part of this triple tree so that I think it looks much better than the awkward way that it was centered previously. So when I don't have the phone on this bike, I'm not able to monitor AFR, but I am able to see engine temperature. Uh, the Takagawa unit has a sender that's connected to the uh, oil drain plug. Uh, the oil temperature is usually about 20 degrees lower than it is um, at the, than it is at the head, which is where the eraser measures. But I have limits based off of that so that I get flashing red indicators if engine temperature is getting too high. And that way I feel comfortable just getting on this bike and going for a quick ride. If something goes wrong, I'll get some type of indication instead of uh, detonation, which if you've seen my channels happened before. So the stock speedometer that comes on the Grom is actually pretty nice. It comes with a tachometer built in. Uh, it doesn't have engine temperature though. And uh, now that I am modifying the bike, that's something that I'll want to be keeping an eye on. So I also have an A-Racer and AF1 in this bike now. In one of the videos I mentioned I borrowed the AF1 from the Monkey to put into the Grom, uh, but since then I picked up another one. So they both have a constant AF1 monitoring. But like the Monkey, when I want to just jump on this bike and ride it around without having to fire up the app and keep an eye on uh, all of the information coming off of the A-Racer app, uh, I installed the Sport D from A-Racer. So this plugs into the RC Mini 5 and it shows both engine temperature and the uh, AFR reading. There are two caveats to the Sport D though. One is there's no provision to switch the measurement uh, to Fahrenheit. It'll only display temperatures in Celsius. For me, that's not too much of a problem. I'm familiar with Celsius anyway. And 212 degrees equals 100 degrees Celsius. 212 was when I started worrying about the engine temperature and 100 is a nice round number to be keeping an eye out for. Uh, the other is that it won't play very nicely with the Blink module. That's the Bluetooth module that sends information to the phone. So it's really one or the other. You can run both at the same time, but you start getting wonky readings. So I usually leave this on because I usually don't bother to fire up the phone for this bike, at least right now, while I have some lighter mods. As I start modding it, 
I'll probably spend more time with the phone, but once things get uh, into a nice good running shape, I'll probably switch back to the Sport D because it's easy to read and you don't have to fuss with the phone or the mount. On this one, I've got a separate mount that um, clamps on here that I have a um, quad lock on, but I prefer the simplistic look of just having this gauge here. Back to the monkey for a moment. I have got a lot of questions about whether or not the TFT or the standard Takagawa speedometer is compatible with the 2022 monkey. Uh, I don't have a 2022 to test out myself, but I have asked around and gotten feedback that they are compatible. But if some of you have tried it out, please respond in the comments below confirming that uh, you've been able to install one of these on a 2022, uh, just so that we can have that information for everybody else that's been asking the question. So thanks for watching this quick video on the gauges that I've got and the reasons why I have them. I really think the A-Racer uh, RC Mini 5 and AF1 setup is the way to go on these bikes if you plan to do any modifications beyond just an exhaust and an intake. Um, DHM and Cameron Jones Racing have good tunes if you're just gonna do intake, exhaust, and a cam. But anything beyond that, it's really a better choice to go with a standalone engine management system like the A-Racer setup. And again, the information that you can pull off of the engine uh, from the Blink module or some of the other add-ons like the Sport D. There's also something called the DG1 that I don't have. The DG1 plugs straight into the AF1 and not the A-Racer, so it doesn't have any conflict with the Bluetooth module like the Sport D does, but it also only then displays AFR and doesn't display temperature. So uh, if you only want to see AFR, uh, that is something that you can run with the Bluetooth to have all of it at once, but if you are running the Bluetooth, then you have your phone. If you have your phone, you already see the AFR. So I'm not sure what the purpose of just having that is um, other than not needing the phone. But again, if you're not using your phone, then why not use uh, something like the Sport D that also has engine temperature. Let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions about these gauges. Uh, please take a second to like this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, thank you everybody very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.